people are now coming to that crash scene to reflect on the tragedy and in some cases to process their own experience. WBZ's Beth Germano was there when another student who was on the bus arrived to try to make sense of it. With debris from the accident still strewn along the crash site on South Street in Waltham, it's an impactful scene for students trying to comprehend what happened. It's horrible. It's just horrible. I don't know what happened. That's, that's, that's my, my reaction. This student, who didn't want to be identified, was one of the passengers on the bus and decided to return to the site. She suffered a concussion and only wants answers. I was thrown around the bus. I don't know exactly what happened. And I also just want to figure out exactly what happened. So far, there have been no charges. The driver worked for Joseph's Limousine and Transportation in Medford, which provides shuttle buses for Brandeis students to Boston and Cambridge. The director of operations did not want to answer our questions today. We're just trying to be super sensitive to the situation right now. And really, at this moment, we cannot comment. The company has had 16 inspections in two years with a rating of satisfactory. This staff member who visited the site says she hopes speeding or distracted driving wasn't a factor and thinks of the students involved. They all touch you in some way, even if you don't know them. They're all a family. While classes have been canceled this week, the university wants to support those students who remain on campus and will hold a vigil tonight to bring them together. We know this is going to be difficult for our students and our whole campus for some time. So long-term support, taking care of the community is what we're focused on. Especially with an investigation that has only begun. In Waltham, Beth Germano, WBZ News.